Well, on a lightning mm. strike last week near the White House hit four people. The only survivor was a 28-year-old woman from Newberry Park. Her family says she has made such a remarkable recovery. She's out of the ICU in Washington. And now they're at her side as she continues to improve and stun doctors. CBS 2's Tina Ezzedine is live in Newberry Park, where a family friend says he's not surprised by her recovery. Tina. Wanted Pat, not at all. He says she's a fighter, and she's certainly proving to be. The parents of the 28-year-old woman who was struck by lightning during a thunderstorm in Washington, D.C., quickly left their home here in Newberry Park in Ventura County to rush to be by their daughter's hospital bedside. Miraculously, she's doing quite well. They say that she is recovering, and she recently took her first steps. They agree she's a survivor. They were sudden bolts from the sky. Violent thunderstorms swept over Washington, D.C. last Thursday. Lightning struck four people next to the White House. Amber Escadero Condestathis is the only one who survived. Insane. I mean, just the odds of being struck by lightning on her 28th birthday in D.C. Um, just a, an amazing story, an amazing story of survival on her part. Yeah. Amber's a, she's a survivor for sure. The 28-year-old from Southern California struck on her birthday is in stable condition, revived on site by the U.S. Secret Service using a defibrillator. Uniformed officers from both the United States Secret Service Uniform Division as well as the United States Park Police who witnessed this lightning strike, we want to thank them for immediately responding to the scene and rendering aid. In the nation's capital, working for a nonprofit advocacy group for refugees, as she found herself seeking refuge from a thunderstorm under trees when a series of lightning strikes started. Six within half a second. Wonderful young lady, um, a giver. You know, she spent her adult life uh, working in, in uh, giving back to others. After college, she moved to Jordan, was working with refugees there. And, I believe that's what she's dedicated her life to so far. A GoFundMe page is now set up for Amber's medical expenses, already surpassing the goal to raise $40,000. And while Amber survived, three others did not. A senior couple from Wisconsin and 29-year-old Brooks Lambertson, a vice president at City National Bank in Los Angeles. Amber did suffer burns on her body, and doctors are currently running tests to make sure there is no long-term damage because she is set to begin her master's program at John Hopkins in just a few weeks. This on top of being a lightning strike survivor. We're live in Newberry Park. I'm Tina Ezzedine, CBS 2 News.